Okay, well, everyone, my name is Emilio Enkovic, and as you understand, I'm a Syrian University of Delaware. Uh, I want to present a paper topic, Gameplay Educational Website, Conversion Optimization. Okay, I'm going to linger on basic definitions, uh, like the learning and gamification. So, I'm going to start from something which is called virtual learning environment. Uh, basically, virtual learning environment is a uh, environment which, lines, which, which allows students uh, online or virtual access to different courses, materials, uh, and such things. Uh, there's also the term managed learning environment, which is a bit uh, broader term, because the uh, managed learning environment also consists of different process and information systems which support learning process. What we now have is a classical uh, website for our institutions where the students come for information, uh, course materials, uh, some interesting topics, but it's more or less like a basic website. And we would like in the next step to interest our students' performance to convert it to some kind of virtual learning environment. We decided to find some way to interest the interesting in using our website. Uh, for example, the advantages of e-learning are more or less um, described in literature as students can choose their own pace, uh, which they can adapt in knowledge. Uh, they can also skip the materials they don't like and concentrate on things that are more, more interesting to them. Uh, they can learn when, when they like. Also, they can <coughs> more uh, and say so of community and group learning. Uh, however, there are some also disadvantages which are connected with motivation. For example, students with bad habits may have problems uh, when completing their tests on time, or students may feel isolated from other students and uh, just interacting with virtual class. So we wanted to find some way to increase interesting motivation in our students to use this virtual learning environment uh, more efficient. Um, one way we decided to apply some of the gamification techniques. Uh, gamification for now has received the most attention in the field of e-commerce, also marketing innovations, human resources, but also there was some attention in the field of education. Uh, some of the papers, there are not too many, some of the primary cultures also from Spain, uh, have uh, described the gamification techniques uh, when applied to educational platforms. May result in strengthening learners' motivation, uh, their uh, increased retention of their attention, and feel more like a community altogether. Also, some of the papers point out that it's hard to uh, find the right amount of gamification. If you apply too many gamification techniques, you can even have negative effects. Also, some of the papers said that even if uh, motivation is increased, the uh, student performance of the test is more or less the same as the standard methods. But however, all the papers agree that uh, there is great potential gamification and also uh, the state of the art in other areas confirmed. Um, we decided to apply some of the game mechanics like challenges, competitions, preparations, works, stimulates out of students with statistically more action leading the learning process. Okay, uh, that conversion is an important term for uh, measuring our, our success. Uh, it's commonly used in, probably in, in, also in e-commerce. And the most common measure is conversion rate. What is conversion rate? It is a, defines the percentage of visitors exposed to a campaign to take the desired action of that campaign. Uh, for example, uh, we want to for our user to uh, uh, participate in our site in a way that we can design. Uh, we then set a set of goals and measure them by so-called conversions. There are different conversions, macro conversions and micro conversions. Um, a website can have different, uh, several macro conversions. Each macro conversion can have several micro conversions. 
because each website may, may be put several blocks. Uh, according to Kant, this is a, one of the, uh, let's say, more or less standard ways. Uh, we can define our steps in our in our in our table. What is the the, the, the first step is to enter the current state of web analytics, what we work the, the, the current state. And the next, to find a new goals in order to improve our student conversion rate. After that, we need to analyze funnels in accordance with the new goals. What is a funnel? A funnel is a series of web pages which our user uh, uses to uh, uh, browse our, our website. So he goes to one, to the next, and the next web page. Uh, and at the end, we apply some of the unification techniques in our website to, in, to, to increase our conversion rate and to find a spot in our funnels. Uh, analytics, these are some of the results uh, of our website in Google Analytics. Uh, for example, we can see that uh, the, the, these the courses, some of them are obligatory, some of them are, are elementary, depends on the type. Uh, we have uh, found some of the problems, some of, the, some of them are better seen in the graphics in the next slide. Uh, for example, also, we have a, a large bounce rate on some of, of the web pages. Also, the average time of the page is somewhat unsatisfying. And the uh, number of page views for some of the courses, uh, especially uh, uh, elementary courses, are also not very good. Uh, also, from the graphs, we have observed uh, more or less expected uh, student behavior. For example, uh, you can see the peak on the first graph. Uh, they tend to come to our website and to download materials in December when the exam term comes closer, so they have, they need, need to study, but they are not that active in the first part of the semester. Um, so we can identify problems that with your course in five years, do not have the uniform number of visits during the semester, and that there is a limit of interest for some of the elective courses. Um, According to Kant, uh, we decided to use the conversion optimization with three following steps. Modeling site funnels, analyzing funnels, and optimizing funnels. Uh, the conversion rate is the same as the percentage of users who enter the funnel and complete the desired goal. Uh, for our, we chose uh, two courses, one left and one obligatory. For obligatory course, uh, what we wanted to achieve is a more uniform distribution of the uh, web page used during the semester to enhance our student activity. Also, we want them to spend more time on our website, so more uniform distribution of average time on the page. Also, we want to increase our number of downloads of course materials, and we also want to decrease the bounce rate, so to uh, redirect our students to some additional content. For the of course, we wanted to increase the number of paid views and also to some average time on page and number of course material downloads. Uh, so we decided to apply a new website design. A standard standard website design, you can have one home page and course pages after that. Uh, we decided to design some landing pages between uh, the main page and the course pages and also to apply unification techniques also on landing pages and the first pages, but in different ways to apply to different uh, target groups. For example, uh, for elective course, uh, unification techniques will give you some challenges from the professionals in the field, which students will be providing for some points. Then they can use that points, for example, uh, when they're choosing the topic for their project, have some priority or some extra consultation terms or things like that, that, that could be used for them. Uh, 
Uh, how we're going to test it? We're going to use A-B testing by Google Analytics and multivariate testing some other software uh, in order to compare the current and the new approach. Uh, okay, more or less conclusions. Uh, we can perform the analysis because there's also a running website already. Uh, analysis of existing data can show that some of the parameters are not really satisfying and we are currently uh, developing landing pages and new course pages in order to test uh, our approach and to see if it will lead to some uh, better performance. Uh, we will evaluate the set goals in this semester and hopefully publish an extended version of this paper. Thank you for your attention.